The 1990s cartoons you know and love will be looked at in a whole different way when you learn about some of the crazy theories fans have come up with throughout the years. Deceased children, schizophrenia, and characters trapped in comas are just a few of these secret conspiracies that fans have uncovered. Before you get your mind blown, click subscribe. You'll join our notification squad and be the first to know of any new content. Can you guess which movie is represented by these emojis? Stay tuned to the end to find out. Hi, little guy. Did you and your friends have fun? Chucky's Real Mom the Rugrats had a pretty wide assortment of characters and family dynamics, but one of the lingering mysteries on the show involved Chucky's mother. After barely alluding to the character, a Mother's Day animated special showcased flashbacks before her passing. One theory alludes that Tommy's mother, Dee Dee, is actually Chucky's real mom. Chucky's mom, Melinda, died shortly after Chucky was born, and people point out that she may have been too sick to go through a full pregnancy. This is where Dee Dee comes in and acts as a surrogate for Chucky. They have similar looks, Chaz and Dee Dee did get along great, and it can't explain why Chucky is always over Tommy's house. The guest is trying to crash the party, Quail Dog. No time to lose. Fly away! Doug Funny's Schizophrenic Hallucinations Getting through everyday life has made a lot easier to Doug thanks to his active imagination. Situations are turned into crazy adventures with visions filled using alter egos like Quail Man, Smash Adams, Jack Bandit, and Durango Doug. Durango Doug. While it was fun watching these scenes as a child, seeing them again can give you a whole different perspective on the character. Many theories have determined that Doug is a schizophrenic with multiple personalities and hallucinations. His visions are not merely daydreams. They often lead to distractions in the real world, missed moments, and times where he's out of touch with reality. Something like Quail Man may seem innocent until it manifests into a full-blown problem. It's Big Peanut Guy! It's a little ditty called... Why do I always get the nuts? SpongeBob's Nuclear Radiation A talking sponge, pet snails, squirrels with above average intelligence, strange occurrences. When first premiering in 1999, the world of SpongeBob SquarePants and Bikini Bottom was certainly a quirky one, and it is not just a random occurrence. The entire city was built under Bikini Atoll, a nuclear testing site from the 1940s. Because of the nuclear testing, theories have developed saying everything in Bikini Bottom is the result of nuclear exposure. The Flying Dutchman may not even be a ghost, but some crazy pirate who is exposed to way too much radiation and has a green glow because of it. Nuclear bombs are some powerful stuff. Two out, nobody on. Plays to first. Hey, am I the only one playing here? The Recess Playground Theory Watching Disney's Recess on Saturday mornings was great. The adventures of TJ and his gang made you long for those precious minutes you played outside every day after lunch. It's too bad the Recess Playground Theory turns the show into a sad and morbid experience. The far-fetched theory states that everyone on the show is actually dead, living in some type of daily purgatory where they live out their glory days of recess. Examples include that TJ died when he was hit by a car, Mikey died of diabetes, Spinelli died in a playground fight, and Gus died from a bully attack. The school itself has actually been shut down for years and used only by these ghosts. Yikes, that's spooky. I have said it before and I will say it again. <laughs> you are all little The Rugrats don't exist. The way you watch the Rugrats completely changes with the Angelica theory. This theory follows the notion that all of the babies on Rugrats have died and Angelica is the only one that can see them. Even though the show creators and multiple fans have tried debunking the theory, it lives on. The outlandish idea says that Chucky died at the same time as his mom. Tommy was a stillborn, causing Stu to obsess over making toys, and the DeVille's pregnancy was terminated early on, forcing Angelica to envision both Phil and Lil because she doesn't know the true gender. A bunch of dead babies is pretty dark. Let's forget we ever knew about this one. Can't be real, right? Ash's Coma What if the whole world of Pokemon was just envisioned by a young boy who's been trapped in a coma for multiple decades? That's the basic premise behind the Ash Coma theory. In the very first episode of the Pokemon animated series, Ash is struck by lightning. This is the point where fans say he fell into a coma, dreaming up a world of crazy Pokemon, fights, and an incredible journey. The coma can also help explain why there are suddenly new Pokemon appearing all the time and Ash hasn't aged a day since the 1990s. Maybe up in his head, once he catches them all, he'll wake up from the coma. Uh, ah, ah. Okay, okay. I think I got it. 
The Wiggums are brother and sister. The Simpsons skyrocketed to pop culture megastars in the 1990s, and the show has built a giant world of characters and citizens of Springfield. Chief Wiggum is regularly featured on The Simpsons, but have you ever gotten a good look at his wife, Sarah? They look nearly identical with matching hair color, body type, and facial features. This has led many to speculate that the Wiggums are actually brother and sister. Their keep it in the family relationship may be the reason that Ralph Wiggum is such a strange and disturbed little boy. I'm cooking for contraband! After 25 plus years, it's a good time to explore this topic. My plan comes together. Bring sixth grade yo yo. <laughs> Helga is the true star. Do you feel like you know Helga Pataki better than any other character on Hey Arnold? It's because many fans agree that she is the true star of the show. Her character has way more backstory than Arnold. She has even given multiple inner monologues revealing her true feelings. I knew it all the time. Oh, Arnold, my love. And her obsession with Arnold is one of the show's main long-standing story arcs. Multiple episodes even focus on Helga's family and the issues she has with both of her parents. Even the title, Hey Arnold, is a quote directly from her perspective. Instead of a reboot, maybe we should just get a true spin-off series entitled, What's Up, Helga? Hey, you're here. Blue and I were just getting ready for the really big art show. Steve gets a clue. No matter how old you were, solving Blue's clues was pretty easy. Steve seemed pretty oblivious to obvious answers, hidden clues, and questions he asked along the way. Paprika's favorite treasure, huh? While there are plenty of theories on drug use and reasons he went to college, another theory actually makes a lot of sense. Steve wasn't an adult with an adolescent mind. He was merely babysitting. The child voices you hear him respond to are the children that he was babysitting for. Paw Prince. Paw Prince, right. He would often play along and dumb things down so the children could figure it out for themselves. Steve is actually quite brilliant. Two Inspector Gadgets Who didn't want to be Inspector Gadget as a child? He had all types of cool gizmos, would fly around using his hat, and was able to solve crimes with the help of Penny and Brain. His arch nemesis was the evil Dr. Claw. While we never got to see an official look at Dr. Claw, theories have floated around that he was the original Inspector Gadget. While on a mission, something went horribly wrong, causing the destruction and malfunction of his suit. His bitter feelings and jealousy of the new Inspector Gadget led to his evil ways and constant plans of revenge. We're ready for that origin story anytime now. Well, there you have it. What theory do you believe the most? Are there any that we missed? What was your favorite cartoon as a child? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe to Screen Ran on YouTube so you can stay up to date with our awesome videos. Oh, and the answer to our emoji quiz is...